Welcome back to Jim's EV Adventures. Today we're taking a journey through time, not to mar my past inventions, but to imagine what life would be like if we clung to outdated technology the same way some people cling to the internal combustion engine. There's a phrase that we've all heard, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But when it comes to cars powered by carbon-based fuels or anything that must burn, let's be clear, it is broke. Clinging to outdated technology is a form of backwards thinking. Backwards thinking is the thing that holds us back from progress. Imagine if we still lit our homes with candles or communicated with telegraphs. Just because something works does not mean it cannot be improved. Let's explore what life would be like if we had refused to evolve in other areas of life and see why clinging to internal combustion engine vehicles simply doesn't make sense a quarter way through the 21st century. Here we go. Imagine lighting your home today with candles, oil lamps, or gas lamps. Sure, they work, but would anyone seriously choose them over modern lighting, aside from the Amish? The progression has been simple, from fire, to candle, to oil lamp, to gas lamp, to incandescent bulb, to LED bulb. We are in the 21st century. LED bulbs are brighter, longer lasting, and far more efficient. Imagine someone saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, while fumbling with a candle to read their book in the middle of the night. This evolution didn't happen overnight, but once we discovered better methods, we didn't hesitate to leave outdated options behind. So what's our holdup? Now, Imagine trying to text your friend using stone tablets or waiting weeks for a letter to be delivered by horseback or ship. From stone tablet to paper to the printing press to the telegraph to the telephone and now the smartphone, today we communicate instantly with high-definition video calls and global connectivity. Why? Because it's faster, easier, and better. Imagine if someone said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it while chiseling out a text message. You'd actually question their sanity, wouldn't you? Imagine commuting to work on a horse-drawn carriage, or better yet, trying to win a race against a modern car. Sure, horses have served us well, but when automobiles came along, we didn't hesitate to switch. From the horse to the steam engine, the gasoline engine, the hybrid, and now the electric vehicle, it's time for us to make the change. The internal combustion engine was revolutionary in its time, but let's be honest and forthright. It's broken. The internal combustion engine still breathes out the same levels of CO2 that it did in 1896. Physics have not changed just because we removed the lead from gasoline and added a catalytic converter to reduce the amount of particulate poisons that increase smog. The worst part of the exhaust gases are still there. They're called greenhouse gases. And despite the FUD you hear from the lamestream media and from the brain-dead talking heads on social media, they will always be there when you burn carbon-based materials. There's no magic converter that can turn exhaust gases back into fuel. It just does not exist. Now let's talk about the mythical statement of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's face it, the internal combustion engine is broken. It's inefficient, polluting, and outdated. Imagine applying the if it ain't broke mentality to other areas of our life. We'd still be using candles instead of light bulbs. We'd still be communicating with stone tablets instead of smartphones. And we'd still be traveling with horse-drawn carriages instead of modern transportation. These technologies weren't abandoned because they didn't work. They were abandoned because we found something better. Backwards thinking holds us back from living better, more efficient lives. Just because something has worked for over a century doesn't mean it cannot be improved. Every major technological leap has faced resistance, but progress always wins in the end. FUD might slow it down as it has with the EV, but in the end, most people are smart enough to see the advantage. Just as we move from candles to LEDs and from stone tablets to smartphones, the horse and buggy to the ice car, the transition from the internal combustion engine to the electric vehicle is inevitable. 
and necessary to fix our fractured climate. So the next time someone says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, remind them the internal combustion engine is broken and we do have the technology to fix it. Better yet, don't let them use your bathroom. Send them to the outhouse with an old Sears and Roebuck catalog and see what they say. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and feel free to drop a comment. But don't look back because you might get run over by a horse and buggy. More importantly, share this video with your friends who are still driving their 19th century dinosaur ice cars. What technology would you never go back to? And if you're still driving a stinky, fire-breathing, gas-guzzling internal combustion engine car, what's holding you back from switching to the better technology of an EV? Do you like your stone tablet and chisel better than your iPhone? Let's have a modern discussion about that. Until next time, I'll see you out there or somewhere along that route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody. See you all real soon.